Salve, friend. If we get the assassin to go to Maliolus' house... No, then the golden rule will be broken. Yeah, okay. Oh, Rufius has to be cured every single time. Damn. Rufius has been threatening Virgil, but if you give him some of this willow bark, it will treat his rheumatism and he'll settle down. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius too, I guess. Alright, got it. You the other stuff. Alright. Oh. Okay. What we can do is maybe... We can look at the hidden shrine or go to Opius. The 49 melodies fetch a game with incessant... No, I'm really... It almost seems like I want to make Opius jump again, which is really messed up. But I want to see what goes on with the pool. Maybe we'll get to tell Sentius that this doesn't work too, because... Executing the law of a magistrate was... it just wasn't the right answer. There's Opius. Oh god. We need to talk to him about Sandelam, but earlier we didn't even get an option to do that. This is awful, I'm coming with the explicit purpose of Trunum. Make him jump, pretty much. Salve, friend. Welcome to life. Alright. I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? That's what? Why do you I know I'm ple I'm sorry. Please help him. Alright, I'll talk to him. Mmm. <laughs> Is this what Scintilla would want? You know about that? How is that possible? I mean, I've never mentioned it to anyone. I saw it on the wall. You'd never believe me if I told you. We saw it on the wall already, though, in the theater. Well, if you say so, you don't understand. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want it all to be over. Maybe I can help solve your problem. It's too late for that. Yulia and I made a pact, and she's already swallowed Hemlock this morning. If I backed out now, I'd be betraying her. I can't do that. Lucretia was able to get some sulfium in time to save her life. She's going to be fine. Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to pay off both of our debts. I do! Oh, uh, wait, why do you need 2,000 denarii? Yulia and I are in debt bondage to Maliolus. We might as well be slaves. And that's how much it will take to buy our freedom back. How did you get yourselves into so much debt? Oh, <laughs> so oh no, 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 no. Is that it? You know what? Forget it. I am out. What? Oh, Where no. You are? Scintilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! Oh, I just wanted to hear him talk a bit more about how he got into debt, that's all. I... I can't believe he went through with it. I... oh lord. That poor lamb. <sighs> that was not... Yeah. I'll have... You're gonna go pray. Yeah, like that feels like it's something, right? Can I just jump down here? Oh lord, oh lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I am delighted and deeply honored. We can, but there's nothing here. It's awful. Yo, oh, you instantly got turned into a skeleton. Oh, Opius, I'll save you next time. I'm sorry. I, I have the money. And I'll make sure you're okay. I make this solemn promise. Did you just. Leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred <laughs> feet above. 
That was either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I, I want you to withdraw from the election. No, <laughs> because as soon as you win, you're going to break the golden rule. Don't talk nonsense. There's no such thing as the golden rule. You're going to arrest Santias for treason and sentence him to death by gladiatorial combat. How could you possibly know that? This could be interesting. Make him mad at Demidius? Hmm... I know all your secrets. Nonsense! This is nonsense! I don't know how you know about my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Demetrius kill him even more. Now, get out of here! You outstayed your very limited welcome. Maybe we should have talked about the Demetrius one. Make him doubt a little bit. Oh man, I'll save you next time, Ulpius. For now, Thank you. I believe... Oi! Octavia. How did you get in there, you cheeky little Sturkus? <laughs> if I cop an earful from Maliolus, I'll be coming. Octavia went to pray. I believe that would be at the theater. Not at the theater. Oh, I never went back to this one place here. Wrong one. Why can we climb gold anyway? Because it's hard? We can reach for it? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need some money here to pay off people's debts. Just put it away. This is the hidden shrine. Turn right at the first hook, and then right again. A stone disc, a circular stone disc with a symbol of a fish carved into it. It looks like it might be religious in nature. Fish. Oh, that's like a Christianity thing, right? Yeah, so Octavia's Shrine. Loaf of bread, partially eaten loaf of bread. It's still fresh. Whoever owns it probably hasn't finished with it. Wooden carving. With a symbol of a fish. Octavia? I see you. Uh, if we don't follow her, we can't get inside. We have to follow her? You know what's really funny? I, I was talking to Georgius about the Greek plaque, and then we ended up finding the Egyptian plaque and the Sumerian plaque. Yeah, I already asked him. Hmm. But well, we, we already know where it is. It's with Dolly. So the Roman plaque... We have to solve... Find a way to get into the locked shrine. I'll need the key. Or to find some other way in. It might be in Octavia's room. Maybe? Figure out how to make Maliolus drop out of the election. Hey, slowly these leads are starting to dwindle. We're figuring things out. Maybe it's time to talk to Equitia again. We didn't confront Sentias last time. We tried... Uh, the Maliolus one? We could try the other ones. There was a lot, though. <sighs> okay, you know what? Maybe we'll kill Sentias this time? And see what happens. Does it give me a new ending? Yeah, I think it's gonna be ending 2 again, but maybe without Centella. So without the Centella part, maybe that's still considered ending 2, or maybe that's something else entirely. We'll have to see. Hoping with a restart, we can save Opius this time. Is there anybody who we haven't really talked to yet? Opius, I guess. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? Okay. 
key. Denar wait, Centella is so poor. 14 Denaris. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, Sentius. Wanna talk to him a little bit first? Or just kill him immediately. We're finally alone. I'm Walensius, we had this conversation I'm before. We've had this conversation too, and I'm in a hurry. Seems rather brash, but alright. Why have you sought me out? Can we talk about who's gonna break the golden rule? Of course. What is it? Hmm, I think I know who it is. Yes. Just say some random person. It's Aurelia. Why do you say that? She's a charlatan. She's selling a way out, but it turns out to be Hemlock. Despicable, but did it break the golden rule? No, it didn't. Then it seems that gods are not concerned with her conduct, so she can't be the one you're looking for. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Ah, uh, he just shoots me down. Okay. Of course, what is... Yes? It's... It is actually Domitius. It's Lucretia. Why do you say that? She threatened to scratch Decius' eyes out if she lost another patient because of him. Oh, you can say anybody is about to break the golden rule. Like, this is a threat. But for some reason, it's not as bad as saying I'm gonna kill you. And it's not a sin. Well then, you'd better make sure she doesn't lose another patient, hadn't you? Whatever it takes, do it. It looks like you'll have to continue <laughs> your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Where is your key? Ask then. Oh, wrong one. Good. Now. Of course. Yeah. It's Sentia. Why do you say that? She seems awfully relaxed about Sentilla's disappearance. You seem to be grasping at straws here. I can assure you, she is most upset about her sister. As am I. I'm sure. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Hmm. Of course. What is. Yeah. It's Rufius. Why do you say that? He's becoming increasingly threatening to Virgil because of his sexuality. Then you'd better find a way to make him back down, hadn't you? I'm quite sure you're capable of containing that half wit. Go and do it. Look at the way sometimes he... Oh. I'll get right on it. Okay. Good. Thank you. Oh. Why... Why is Rufius different? Yeah, like, the things that Cynthia says, the little things, betray how he really feels. He's like, oh, I gotta be a, a fair magistrate to all my constituents. And then the next thing, he's like, you better contain that half-wit. He can't help himself. He's awful. Do I actually have to do anything about Rufius? We solved it already. Or Galerius solved it. Come back here! Ah, you've returned. Do you- Of course. Mm. Yes? It's Virgil. Why do you say that? At least one resident here thinks his sexuality makes him a sinner. Why? Because he prefers the company of men? Ridiculous. Romans have always been tolerant of such predilections. I simply cannot believe that his innate preferences would break the golden rule. If I were you, I'd be looking for whichever idiot is making those accusations. It looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Pluto says LGBT rights. And Sentius, the one the one redeeming factor about Sentius. Of course, what is it? Yeah? It's Opius. Why do you say that? I believe he was seeing Centilla in secret before she disappeared. I suspect he knows what happened to her. You suspect? <laughs> I confess, I don't have a lot of sympathy for Opius, but you're going to need a lot more than suspicion to get to the bottom of this. It looks like you'll have to continue your... 
Okay, Demidicus, the Demidius. Of course, is, is an actual one. Yes. It's Demidius. Why do you say that? Oh, but this is like inconsequential stuff. He's been trying to intimidate people into voting for Maliolus. Mm, so I'm told. This is truly atrocious behavior, which undermines the very foundations of our democracy. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, but before we proceed, I must ask, are you sure he's the one? It's him. I'm sure this time. Well then, in that case, as much as it pains me to do so, I must act decisively to ensure the survival of my people. As magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome oh, and okay. authorize his execution. All right, I'll take care of it again. Thank you. Again. <laughs> must act quickly before it's too late. Okay, we knocked out a whole bunch of stuff. Execute your suspect. Got all the optional stuff out of the way, except for the assassin. I don't think it was even there in the conversation options. Not yet, anyway. Okay, I want to try with Elpius again. So, Sentius. Don't be so foolish. If you kill me, we all die. Allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox, you see? The same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and yourself. I think you have to understand that that's actually a good thing for me, because I don't want to be here. I want to be back in my original timeline. I don't actually have to care about anybody here, if I don't want to. I, I do want to, but I don't have to. So if I killed you, everyone would die and I'd return to my original timeline with no way back? Indeed. That sounds perfect! Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. So, I can't even try killing him. Is that the issue? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Help me! He just can't die. Oh, there we go. Oh, it takes a few more hits. Oh. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth? I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Wallenzius. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina and murdered a local magistrate, oh my breaking God. some kind of ancient <laughs> law. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. Apparently, as the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. Weird. That definitely wasn't me. I didn't for one moment think it was, but the way you say that makes me wonder. I mean, how many people with that name could there be in this place? I don't Many. understand how you could have been here 2,000 years ago. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. 
Uh, I'm sorry, come again. I still have the suicide note you carved into this tablet. Here. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around yeah, this and this is the same as the ending this tomb. Is, oh, this is disturbing, but I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. I, uh, I'm not following. I killed the man who opened the time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Now you're getting it. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from the dead to let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a way out and oh. never found one. I can't see how I could possibly find one now, what? so... What? Seems like we're both gonna die here. What? Why can't we get out? Why can't we just walk back to where... Charon was? Because we didn't solve anything? We killed Cynthia's? I regret nothing. How can you say that? You murdered a man in cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. And it's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions <laughs> were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabunt. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That is ending number one. How many people might have survived if you hadn't killed Sentius in cold blood? Well, I did. What are you going to do about it? Okay, that's one of the endings. I'm guessing third one might be... Hmm. Well, we still have to figure out stuff like getting Galerius to be the Magistrate so we can get the plaque. The plaques, I feel like, is the end game. Mm -hmm. And then following Octavia, saving Ulpius. Oh, but you know what? Octavia, we can only follow her to the shrine if Ulpius dies. Because if he doesn't die, then she won't pray for him. Oh, that's awful. I might have to kill Ulpius again then. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, you. Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? So we asked about all the people that we can tattle on for minor sins, some of which are not really even sins, but we haven't talked about the assassin or Cynthia's kidnapping Centilla yet. Which one would that be? Of course. What is it? We haven't tried this one. I've already figured out how to stop at least one person from breaking it. What happens now? Well, if you've stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it still. Allow me to explain. When I discovered oh, yeah, the ritual to Proserpina, the, the crux of it is this, to illustrate. If you manage to succeed in say the same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. What a shame that would be. If, I can't, if either of those things were to happen, so the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work to do. Understand? It's mainly... Demidius right now. I think so. Excellent. So, it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Yeah, I don't know. Um... Because it doesn't seem like I can ask about Centilla. Maybe I have to see Centilla again this time to ask about it? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. Because here... It does say optional, tell Sentius about the assassin. Optional, confront Sentius about the abduction. Maybe it's hidden in one of the dialogue places, I don't know, but um... Maybe we should talk to Equitia too. It's been a while since we've talked to her. Figure out how to make Maliolis drop out of the election. I feel like Claudia has to know something, because so far we've talked to her, but she hasn't given us any information yet. We need to... do something about everything. Basically. Oh, and I didn't talk to Galerius about getting elected as a magistrate. Is Galerius always in the beginning? Yeah, maybe I'll just go around talking to people first. Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. You haven't really given me anything either. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting. Nothing. I'm set. What are you doing? <laughs> Charming. <laughs> yeah. I trust you can see. 
All right. Equitia? Equitia is usually by her temple More area. Weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Magistrate's orders. Yeah, but no one's really enforcing it, though. They're just saying it. Isn't the great temple majestic? I suppose. A new face. Oh, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I can see how Al's spirit would have been broken, too. It's like... Every single time, every single loop, people keep greeting you as if you were new. <laughs> Can I ask you some questions about escaping the underworld? Uh, I beg your pardon. Livia was right. We're in the underworld. Oh my! Let we hug, hug, sit, and so. Uh, I want Ikutia to talk about something new, but I don't know where it is. Tell me more about escaping with the help of Proserpina or a guide. As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds, so they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well... It's a grim tale. It said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged him. Damn. Her. So she might be willing to work against him to help us? If the stories are true, then I suppose so. The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? Does Charon count? No. The methods, the mythical methods of getting out of here, I assume correspond to the endings. So if we escape through the upper cistern, because Proserpina's way of escaping has to do with rivers and water and flowing out and all that, right? Does the cistern count? Truly. Yeah. I've already found a way to escape. Truly? Then why are you still here? Because that path will result in the deaths of nearly everyone here, and I don't want that. Ah, oh, I see. Then it seems you have made a great sacrifice for all of us, friend. I admire your compassion. Truly. Thank you. But unfortunately, I'm afraid your only other option will be to confront... you know who. Yeah, okay, so yeah, the upper cistern is the Proserpina one. That's what it sounds like. Tell me more about confronting Pluto head on. As I said. Hmm. Hercules couldn't manipulate time or turn organic matter into gold. Are you telling me that you can? I won't pretend to understand exactly what that means, but if that's true, then perhaps you stand a chance. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you-know-who. And for that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here. And there doesn't even seem the to obelisk. be... The obelisk. Ah, so I the great temple the is where the obelisk is. is. I see. Okay. What about the new stuff, though? I don't see anything new here. Yeah, 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 yeah. In any may Oh, it's gone. Talk to Equitia? Was it just that one part about how we tell her that we found a way out already? But she's like, oh, okay, well, thank you for making this sacrifice for us. That's it? Really? We have two big problems right now, I think. We don't know how to open the hidden shrine. Maybe some kind of a key somewhere. And we don't know how to make Maliolus drop out of the election. So maybe let's go around talking to people because they could have updated to have new information. Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? Oh! How would you like some help getting back at Maliolus? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. 
I don't think Maliolus is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Ah! Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. <laughs> now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? Because we both hate your husband! We women have to stick together. <laughs> no, she might think that I'm his mistress or something. I want to force him to withdraw from the election. To withdraw? Listen, I may not be no! to his Ulysses, but to ruin his plans to become a magistrate? You must think me quite mad. <gasps> you! I've heard enough. Get out of here at once. Domitius, come quickly. We're being robbed. All right, that's it, lady. That is it. You know what I do to people who don't cooperate? Demetrius, protect me. Oh, it's getting a little bit, the color's changing. <laughs> well, I won't hit you. I'll hit Maliolus. Okay, I talked to everybody in the marketplace. Doesn't seem like anybody has any new information for me. But um, one other person that we haven't really talked to is Alpius. So I do think we need to reset the loop to make sure that we get some new stuff. Bye. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Okay, not this time. I actually don't want to reset this. <laughs> oh boy. How many times has he done this? He would rather do this to continue his little utopia. After everything we've built. But you know what's really a little bit strange though? Because he's so convinced that following the law of a magistrate is not a crime. But he was wrong, because killing Maliolus didn't work. It was a crime. Gotta find his key somewhere. Do I really have to go say we women have to stick together? Really? Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Opius first. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? And also, Galerius, would you like to try to become a magistrate? Uh. Your name is Galerius. You're gonna take me. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, I wanted to talk to you again. Of course. What did you want to know? Oh, I never even talked to poor Galerius. What's your story? Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I have time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up, but by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young. And it was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing. Our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, 
pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. I'm so sorry to hear that. I have the same response for everybody. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome to be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master, learning the Romans' ways, Romanized my name and everything, tried to escape a couple of times, but they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place, and I started my life over again. I'm glad things worked out in the end. That's what I thought too, for a while. But it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again, safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. What? I'm not sure I believe him, but then what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old magistrate is no better than the legion thugs who took everything from me. And I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, <laughs> will you? I get carried away sometimes. My god, that guy's a demon. <laughs> sure. Thanks, friend. I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? You know, the more I think about the Golden Rule, the less sense it actually makes to me. Because the cover story is that it's meant to create a perfect society, right? But why does everybody... Why is there collective punishment? Like, why does that have to exist for the perfect society to work out? Why can't we just punish the people who sin? Then nobody else would have to be worried. They could sleep at night and all that. But no. Instead, now we all have to suffer for one person being dumb or malicious. It's just... very strange. Do you know a way out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Centilla, Sentius's daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia but she'd never tell the likes of me. I feel like we've heard this before. Did we really not talk to Galerius? What do you think about the Golden Rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? If we try to elect Galerius, it'll work. He's helping save all these people too. What do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. Yes, you could. Ever thought about running for magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom. So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. And that's good enough for me. 
If Maliolus runs, he's gonna break the golden rule and kill us all. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man, but I don't see how you could know a thing like that. He plans to have Sentia's executor for treason. You overheard him say that? Oh, why does that not surprise me? He and Sentius have despised each other for a long time now. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? Why? Why don't you just run with three candidates? Why you gotta make this so difficult? <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, I'll be going now. Alright, see you around. Hold up. Hold up, you wanna save all those people, don't you? Ah, it's you again. No. Oh, if I talk to him, then I can't make him do a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, well, maybe next time. Alright, see you around. Guess some people are dying today. <laughs> well, as long as we don't go to Fabia, it should be okay. Uh, these two, I haven't talked to for a while. Let me just check. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, but it does. What do you think about the Golden Rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Right. Okay. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and... Uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. Yeah, There's yeah. A light in your oh, stop it. No, please go on. What was that? Some kind <laughs> of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. I take back. Is it even possible for her to like me? Doesn't All seem right. so. Okay, nothing new with you two. You, Sisyphus. Which means I'm gonna go... We gotta go save Ulpius ASAP. If we can get Galio... Or Galerius. Galerius running, then we can save Dooley and get the Greek plaque. And then the Roman plaque, I think, has to do with Maliolus. But we have to um, get him to withdraw. Which means we gotta talk to Claudia and... Maybe say, we women have to stick together. <laughs> but that can't be right though, because I realized that back in the beginning, the very first thing that we do is choose if we're a man or woman. So, if the player is not a woman, then we can't say we women need to stick together. Where is the obelisk anyway? I feel like it should be really obvious, but I'm not... I'm not seeing an obelisk here. Or maybe it's not the kind of obelisk I have in mind. Is that why I'm not seeing it? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, right here. I never looked at it too closely. Self well I need to talk to Ulpius. All right. I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Ulpius, what are you doing? Get back. That's the What? Why do you I know Pl I'm sorry. Please help him. Alright, I'll talk to him. Thank you. Is this what Santilla would want? You... no. You'd never believe me if I told you. Well, you do Maybe I can solve your problem. It's too... if I back... What if I can help her too? No. Oh, no. shoot! Time's up. I am out. Wherever oh, you shoot. Are. Santilla, my love. I'm sorry. Oh, Pierce, no! Cause this time I didn't ask Galerius to save Yuliam. I Dang it. I can't believe he went What happens I now? Okay, well maybe we can follow you to the shrine then, because you're gonna go pray, right? And then we can go talk to Claudia. Figure out a way to get into the locked shrine. I'll need the key or to find some other way in. 
some other way in. Maybe it's connected from somewhere else or follow in behind her. <laughs> Is this a little bit too close? Oops. Sorry. I hope you Oh so sorry, keep going. Yeah, if we want we should have went to Yulia ourselves first because we didn't tell Galerius to do it. That's okay. We're getting to the point where we're not gonna always see new stuff every single place we go to because we've seen a lot of things already. Poor Centilla has been stuck in the cistern the whole time. I still want to confront Sentius about it though, but maybe the dialogue is hidden in some branch. Today is a sad day. See, they say that, yeah, I think this is supposed to be hinting towards the cisterns. Come on. Wait. Octavia? I think it's faster if you go the little alleyway, or maybe not. Same difference. Dooley, I'll get you out of there. I'm basically walking with her, even though I should be stalking her. Come on, girl. Okay. Roman Black. Pluto, father of riches. She didn't even notice. It's her little Christian hiding place. Well, that was easier than I thought. We don't need Maliolus after all. Yeah, there was a whole thing about how we have to ask Maliolus and all that, but we did it. What are you doing here? Please leave. Oh, sorry. I wonder where the key was. What? Was I not supposed to do that? Uh-oh. I said please leave. Oh You're my gosh. I don't think that was intended then. Like she closes the door behind or maybe there's a key somewhere around here. Oh. Here we go. Sorry, I'll <gasps> Where did she go? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the way to get in, maybe. But anyway, we got it. So I think it's okay. Where are we? I don't think I recognize... Oh, I don't think I've been here specifically before. <gasps> what? Whoa, whose house is this? Oh, Charon. Charon in the boat. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Livia's home? The place is called Accursed. Here, Tidos offers his innards to be torn, stretched out over nine fields. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water, and the tree you grasp at eludes you. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Ixion turns and follows after himself and flees, and the 49 Belids, who dare to plot the destruction of their cousins, their husbands, fetch again, with incessant labor, the water they have lost. Hmm. Does she live here? It's so much of a, it's a dump. This is a dump. I have no idea where we are right now. Oh, there are a lot of winding tunnels here. I'm guessing we're somewhere near the marketplace, like the Livia Aurelia marketplace. May the gods be kinder to you than they were to us, stranger. How did they even have time to write all this graffiti? Weren't they being turned into gold? 
Oh, because I fell down from here the first time I came here, so I never went over here. Oh, I see. I see, I see, okay. Well, we have the Roman plaque now. Don't have to rely on Maliolus or anything like that. Oh, we've never really looked down here. Waterfalls are generally suspicious. Not this one, though. Oh. Cabbages! Oh, this is where Galerius is normally. I hadn't even... I didn't even know. Hi! Hi! Goose eggs. A bunch of goose eggs laid by the city's goose. Shh. Shh. Okay. Do we want to leave it or do we want to take it for somebody? Give it to Galerius. Your farm. How do we even normally get here? Fortune smile on you, sister. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? Do you want some golden goose eggs? All right, see you around. Okay. Well, the last thing we need to do is really just to free Dolly so we can get the Greek plaque. Good. Oh yeah, because the path here... It's very easy to just sprint past it if we go here. I see. Interesting. 